Welcome to Brainish English Stories. Once upon a time, there was a kingdom where there were no mirrors. The queen had ordered all mirrors to be broken into tiny pieces. If anyone had even a small piece of mirror in their house, the queen would punish them very badly. Now, why did the queen do this strange thing? Well, she was very ugly and didn't want to see her own face. She thought if she couldn't see herself, other people shouldn't see themselves either. The young girls in the kingdom were not happy about this. They wanted to see how pretty they were. They couldn't use rivers or lakes as mirrors because the queen had hidden them under stones. Even the wells were so deep that you couldn't see your reflection. They had to use shallow bowls instead of buckets because buckets could show reflections. Things were pretty sad, especially for the girls who liked to look nice, and there were quite a few of them in this kingdom. The queen didn't care about anyone else's feelings. She was happy that everyone else couldn't use mirrors just like her. But there was a girl named Jacinta who lived outside the city. She felt a bit better because her boyfriend Valentine always told her she was beautiful. It's almost like having a mirror when someone tells you how pretty you are. Jacinta would ask Valentine, What color are my eyes? They're like blue forget-me-not flowers. And is my skin very dark? No, your forehead is as white as snow, and your cheeks are pink like roses. What about my lips? They're redder than cherries. And my teeth? They're whiter than grains of rice. And my ears? Are they okay? They're like pink shells among your curls. You shouldn't be ashamed of them. And so they went on like this for a long time. Jacinta loved hearing Valentine say nice things about her. And Valentine loved making her happy. Their love for each other kept growing stronger and stronger. When Valentine finally asked Jacinta to marry him, she blushed, but not because she was angry. But then, the queen, who loved making others miserable, found out about their happiness. She especially wanted to make Jacinta suffer because she was so beautiful. A little while before the wedding, Jacinta was walking in the garden when an old woman came up to her asking for money. But then the old woman suddenly screamed as if she had seen something awful. What's wrong, ma'am? What did you see? Asked Jacinta. The ugliest person I've ever seen, cried the old woman. You must be mistaken. You're not looking at me, said Jacinta, thinking she was still pretty. No, my dear. I'm looking right at you. I've lived a long time, but I've never seen someone as ugly as you. What? Am I really ugly? Yes, you're much uglier than I can even describe. But my eyes, they're a dirty gray, and you have a terrible squint. And my skin... It looks like you smeared dirt on your forehead and cheeks. My mouth, it's pale and dry, like a dying flower. My teeth, if big yellow teeth are beautiful, then yours are the most beautiful I've ever seen. But what about my ears? They're so big, red and weird under your messy hair that they're disgusting. I'm not pretty myself, but I'd be so embarrassed if mine looked like yours. After saying these mean things, the old woman, repeating what the queen had told her, 
cackled with laughter and left poor Jacinta crying under the apple trees. She couldn't stop thinking about how ugly she was. I'm ugly, I'm ugly, she kept saying. Valentine tried to reassure her, but she thought he was only saying nice things because he felt sorry for her. She believed the old woman who called her ugly. Valentine brought people from everywhere to tell her she was beautiful. Even the women said so, though they weren't as excited about it. But Jacinta still thought she was ugly. When Valentine asked her to marry him, she refused. I love you too much to make you marry someone as ugly as me, she said. Valentine was heartbroken. He begged and pleaded with her, but she still thought she was too ugly for him. He didn't know what to do. The only way to prove the old woman wrong and show Jacinta she was beautiful was to find a mirror. But there were no mirrors in the kingdom, and nobody dared to make one because they were afraid of the queen. I'll go to the queen, said Valentine sadly. She might listen to us when she sees how beautiful and sad Jacinta is. Maybe she'll change her mind about the rule that caused all this trouble. Valentine had a hard time convincing Jacinta to go to the palace. She didn't want to go because she felt ashamed, and she didn't see the point of a mirror if it would only remind her of how ugly she felt. But when Valentine cried, she felt bad for him and agreed to go. When they got to the palace, the queen was not happy to see them. Who are you and what do you want? She snapped. Your majesty, this is the saddest lover in the world, Valentine said. Do you think that's a good reason to bother me? The queen replied. Please have pity on me. Why should I care about your love problems? If you could just let us have a mirror. The queen stood up angrily. Who told you to talk about a mirror? She growled. Please don't be mad, your majesty. Just listen to me. This young girl here, she's so pretty and fresh, but she thinks she's ugly. Well, said the queen with a mean smile. She's right. I've never seen someone uglier. Jacinta felt like she was going to die of embarrassment when she heard the queen's mean words. She was sure now that she was ugly. She fainted right there on the steps of the throne. Valentine was furious. He shouted that the queen must be crazy to say such a thing. But before he could say anything else, the guards grabbed him. The queen signaled to the executioner, who was always nearby in case she needed him. Get rid of him, the queen said, pointing to Valentine. The executioner lifted his axe, just as Jacinta woke up and opened her eyes. Then there were two screams. One was a happy cry from Jacinta because she saw herself in the shiny axe, looking so pretty. The other scream was from the queen, who couldn't bear to see her own reflection and died on the spot.